Hey everyone, I don't know if you have watched um, any of my previous videos about uh, seven years ago I started working as a pro. I pretty much was on the same, I had the same issues, which is anxiety, which is like disassociative and dispersonalization. Um, if you're familiar with that, uh, it's uh, the people around you, um, they look they look weird, or sometimes kind of scary. It kind of scares you, like, uh, you know, our hands, our faces. Uh, overthinking, like, everything. Like, uh, overthinking of what you see, of what you hear, your senses. Like, is it real? I mean, it's it's really a, a terrifying thing to live with. And I just started becoming more familiar with it. And uh, uh, I believe that what I've been told by my counselors and therapists is, like, it's a trauma-based uh, anxiety uh, disassociative. It's, like, a protection, even though it's, like, a really difficult thing to deal with. Um, so I was on uh, the Lexapro 10 milligram seven years ago, and I made a video you guys should check out. Uh, there's quite a bit of views on it. It's pretty informative. It really helped me uh, getting used to it the first, uh, from what I remember, it was like the first like, few weeks was really hard. Uh, this time around, I uh, stopped it last year and I started Boosprin. 10 milligram, which started with, it worked really, really well um, until about a month, a month and a half ago. No, yeah, a month and a half ago. And it just, uh, I started noticing, like, I was getting more paranoid, like, thinking things were poison, like, thinking people were out to get me, um, started becoming, I started getting, like, disassociative attacks. They would happen, but I was able to control it, um, where I'd be, like, driving, I'd kind of, like, forget where I was and, like, really freak out, and, um, even, yeah, and I, I got a really, really, really bad attack, so... This uh, attack led me into seeing my doctor and uh, asking to be put back on Lexapro, which it did help me last time. I um, have I started with five milligrams for two weeks, and then tomorrow will be two weeks on ten. Um, I'm feeling better, but I'm still anxious. I still feel dis disoriented. Um, so, I wanted to know, I don't really remember, uh, since I started the 10 a week and a half ago, or sorry, the 10 almost two weeks ago, uh, should I be feeling better since I've been on 5, or will the 10 also take a little more time to kick in, and then um, tomorrow I'm going to start taking 15, and that's going to be like uh, the therapeutic dosage, my doctor. So I'm assuming it's going to take a bit more time than it did the last time, since the last time I just started at 10 initially. Um, I'm also taking less than half of a one milligram clonopin just to, to help out. And I'm, I will do my, you know, I will wean off of that. Um, it's, I've been on it for a month, so I uh, just would like someone, someone to relate to me. And I know there's people out there and I would love to hear your feedback. It would mean so much to me to, for, for you to tell me your story. I don't care how long of a paragraph you write. Like, this is no judgment. Um, there's been a lot of trauma in my personal life. Um, I know a talk therapy would help, but also, like, knowing that others are out there. Um, even in your state when you don't feel real, it, it helps. So, um, yes, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, thank you for listening to my story.